to Keeping It Real with Nana. As you get ready to be inspired, informed and entertained, get ready. Welcome to Keeping It Real with Nana. On this episode, we'll be talking about can men have female friends? Welcome to Keeping It Real with Nana. We have here. Hey, for the core. Joshua Marco Asumeni. Welcome again. <laughs> We're touching a different one now. So it's about can men have female friends? We're starting off as single men. Okay. That are, you know, you're dating. Mm. Yeah. And you have, let's say, a female best friend, if I can call it so. <clears throat> yeah. What would you do? And do you believe that it's possible? <coughs> I believe um, until the position when a man actually settles down and gets married, every female around him should be considered as a friend. Mm, okay. uh, some even go a step further and say, you know, brother, a sister or something like that. Mm. So I believe as, as a single man, yes, you can have friends. You can have female friends. Yes, mm. I, I think so. And you can stay friends? Stay friends. If I'm not married, then um, we can stay friends. We can be, you know, yeah, good friends. Mm. But the moment I get married, that's when we have to draw boundaries. Okay, so it changes. It has to change. So there is no boundaries beforehand? Uh -huh. Oh, there is boundaries, but, um, you know, okay. Uh -huh. okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I no, 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 there's boundaries. You see, everyone is, everyone is a friend. But the moment uh, every female around me is my friend, you're my friend. But the moment I get married, now my wife is my, you know, sort of best friend. So every female that you can be a friend, but I have to limit the level of our friendship. Yeah, I think I was saying every female around you is your friend. Mm. Yes, and of course there has to be boundaries. There need to be boundaries because um, you're not married to them. But the moment I get married, my woman is my best friend. So she, she replaces, your wife now replaces your best friend? No. <laughs> no, no. Is that what she, you're saying? You see, we, even with the friendship, there mm. needs to be, you can't be, you know, of course you're good with people, mm. but um, you can't, you know, be holding the same level of friendship with everyone. And even if you did, mm. the moment you get married, your wife has to hold the utmost position. Yeah. And the, every other female friend in your life, you know, that is not family, has to intentionally fall back. Or mm. you yourself also have to draw a line yeah. as to how you relate with them. Okay. I don't know okay. if that makes so sense. So would you verbally tell that your best friend, or used to be best, best friend, friend, female best friend or fe female friend yeah. should i say i should would you have to. would you tell her that now that i'm married like yeah i, sh I shouldn't off. have to tell them but they uh, should know they should know and if they don't by my actions should tell them because okay. you if let's say for instance you are p someone that before you got married um you used to be maybe show a love with someone mm. by the time you got married you should divert your attention to the one that you're with and so if that mm. female friend is not uh falling off mm. you have to now ensure that your wife is your priority and right. if it gets to the stand, the point where you have to tell them then you tell them it shouldn't mm. get there but if you get there then you tell them okay. because your wife should hold that position mm. in your life okay. i believe anyway Josh, tell us, <laughs> what do you think? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> tell us! I, I'm going to be very calculated on this. Mm. Yeah. And um, as my brother was speaking, um, one thing that I want us to try and bring in mm. is 
understanding that not everyone's level of comprehension is the same. Mm. Mm. Things that you think you know or that you do and that are visible to someone else for them to comprehend are not always like that. Yeah. And in this aspect, when we are talking about, you know, friendships and, you know, trans, tra- um, transiting to marriage, mm. I believe strongly that it's paramount to make things known. Mm. Um, and that also stems in a sense, I believe what he was trying to uh, um, put out, mm. it stems from your relationship mm. with those people. Okay. Do you get me? Um, if you and your friend have that same, you know, ground, um, connection and understanding, understanding. then mm. I, I accept the fact that they should already know. Mm. They should get to the point. And one thing I wanted to add, I think, um, you know, friendships, if we are being very honest, mm. before you marry, all your friendships should be um, organic and simple. Mm. Um, mm. When you pick up from the scripture, Paul is very straightforward to how Timothy is supposed to treat um, young females, mm. um, female friends, mm. as sisters. Mm. So, in a sense, that's how you your relationship with all your female friends ought to be, ought to be. but mm. in, in in the journey whereby you're getting to know someone in dating mm. and now in Koshi where the decision has been made that we are ending up together yeah. then there the needs to be made known mm. in not only um in your actions not only in how you refrain yourself mm. but vocally verbally yeah. your friends in a sense if they are your friends they mm. should know that this is what's going on yeah so clearly if i'm telling you oh now i'm quoting this person mm. we want to get married yeah. all this is happening so they <laughs> need to respect <laughs> that space <laughs> now you know mm. yes okay what if mm-hmm. the the female friend mm-hmm. yeah. <laughs> you used to actually spend hours upon hours talking with over the phone you used to even do pillow talks with her with if a I female can call, friend yeah with your female friend okay. <laughs> anything I where you were going. <laughs> anything because there are some people that have that relationship with female friends almost like it's looking like they're in a relationship mm. but they're not because they they both know that's not what they actually want Mm. But because, in a way, you've now become an emotional support to this female friend, it may be very difficult for that female friend. To no, no, let's, let's be real as we are on this program. Mm-hmm. And there are some truths in this world mm. that are painful to digest. Mm-hmm. And this is one of them. <laughs> no, like, a, a lot of time I feel like we allow things that, later on will deteriorate mm. our relationships yeah but we do not take the firm and bold stand mm. to do it yeah. you see you can't not walk on coals on fire mm. and not get burnt mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. the moment these are the conversations you're having with that female friend yeah i would not be surprised to know mm. that more than just conversations yeah. have been going on yeah. and if that sort of type of person is going and you're still in communication freely on that yeah. same level yeah i question your definition of godly dating yeah. mm. <laughs> and even your definition of friendship mm. not every friendship or not even friendships at all yeah. should have the interest of um sexuality in them yeah so the moment that's all that is paramount to you mm. or that's what is even some some friendships are even just connected mm. because of that sexual attraction that they've had for years mm. or even the past of being together or listen yeah. if that's what is fueling your friendship my bro, my sis, mm. <laughs> the truth is one. Mm. <laughs> Cut it <laughs> And some okay. of these things are, like I brought said, um, mm. it's a harsh reality that yeah. we need to face. Mm. Very, very harsh reality. Conversation that needs to be had. And uh, sometimes people will rather, um, you know, entertain it than deal with the yes. harsh truth. That's it. Thank you. That's it. It's yes. unhealthy. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. It's unhealthy. For the person that is getting married or married mm. and it's also unhealthy for the other part uh, the other person you know mm. the second person yeah why because you're attached to someone that is getting somewhere so, you know going with someone else mm. that cannot be good for you in the long run yeah and so that you know you need to have the conversation properly mm. and be committed to you know making it work saying that this is the uh, decision that i've taken mm. So that is something that you need to both of both of you need to work on. Mm. If you two did not end up together, there's no need. To, it doesn't. It doesn't help anybody. Yeah. 
it does not help anybody okay. your your partner on the other side isn't going to be happy with it mm -hmm. and the moment that you know the conversation going let's say you are you are being too available for them emotionally okay. that they're depending on you okay so what do you say to the men yeah. that um would intro introduce this female friend yeah to their wife to be yeah okay and they basically he wants the female friend to get close to the wife to be yeah okay so in a way now we are all mutual friends in a way mm. sorry what do you say um, about that close to do what <laughs> say that again like they're getting close to do what as in so what i'm saying is as a man mm -hmm. there's there's some men yeah that in order to keep that female friend mm -hmm. close mm -hmm. okay because perhaps let's just say genuinely yeah he re that that female friend means a lot to him definitely okay so what i'm trying to say is could you still then in a healthy manner introduce that female friend to your wife to be so essentially so that saying w to in a way win her bring your wife involved in the relationship so that your wife becomes friends with yes. her as well yes because I trust you, me, there are some people that have done this. And what are the dangers to doing that? Uh -huh. You see, <laughs> even in that aspect, I mm. still find it unhealthy. Okay. Because in some respect, mm. that woman, in, to some extent, still is still your confidant. Mm -hmm. In a sense that sometimes some of these men things will happen between their wives and they will go back to tell this woman the female friend that mm. cannot be good for your relationship yeah that's yeah. not good for your relationship okay but one can also say the opposite by saying actually me telling my female friend about what is going on in my relationship mm. that female friend can make me understand my wife better no is that not a, a um, good thing? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> this, this, this is where um, I beg to differ. Mm. Um, before we pursue these things, mm. you see, we previously mentioned that you ought to be ready yeah. for these things. Yeah. And when you're still, in a sense, bound, mm. attached, yeah. whether emotionally, mm -hmm. physically, yeah. sexually, financially, or aspect yeah. with someone else, Mm. It is not the new person's responsibility mm. to accept your baggage. Mm. Yeah. They did not subscribe to that. They yes. subscribe to you. you. Yes. And the one that you're presenting mm. must be the stable you, mm -hmm. the one that has dealt with these things mm. and is now ready for yeah. the relationship. Okay. The problem is that, as we mentioned, we eschew dealing with responsibilities. Mm. And that's a trait, a character of someone that isn't yet matured mm -hmm. unless you tackle some of these things yeah and you when i say tackle it's not ah, i have that friend but you know no 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 mm. tackle as in make them plain and known mm. you are in literally for for failure and when i'm saying failure it's not necessarily in the relationship mm. aspect or marriage that you're dreaming mm. but even in all relationship bound to you because how you relate to others mm. a lot of times has a lot to say on how you even relate to your own self mm. yeah. a lot of times it has a lot to say on how you relate to your own family mm. your parent what we put out is yeah. a lot of times a reflection of what we have put in okay and that cannot be changed okay. and so when you're doing all these things and it's like we're trying to find um, escape routes mm. in a more in, in a way to accommodate yeah. something accommodate that something. shouldn't yeah. be there. Yeah. Okay. And that, that, that's yeah. where yeah. So it's not negotiable at all. It's not negotiable. You know when we first mentioned about what are the things that you're looking in someone, for example, yeah. there is no negotiable. Mm. This is one of them. Mm. Okay. Okay. Like okay. <laughs> you, okay. you, you as yeah. a person, one thing that I'm personally looking for mm. is um, stability. Yeah. And when I say stability, it's not necessarily you know mm. having it all mm. as we a lot of time pursue or you know perceive, mm. but stability in the sense that knowing who you are and mm. being stable in all ground, yeah. all aspect. God is not only interested in your spirituality mm. Mm. or in your spiritual well-being. Yeah. God is interested in all facets yeah. of your life for you to be good in them. Yeah. Okay. You get me? The moment we miss that, 
we will always have people that are in church, mm. praying, making noise, <laughs> doing all. Oh, it, it's the truth. Mm. Doing all yeah. that seems um, pious, yeah. but really and truly, they are fighting this, mm. this, this, this is behind the scene because yeah. they have not taken the time to actually study the situation, mm. analyze it, and then tackle the root of it. And this right. is one of them. How can you go around mm. and continue a relationship? with a, a previous baggage, right. a previous um, attachment. Unless, yeah. unless that okay. is so, unless yeah. that is so, yeah. is, is yeah. extra weight that you've placed upon yourself yeah. and moving on with. So do you think that may lead someone to cheat, possibly? Eventually, I think in most cases, it yeah. ends that way, it okay. ends that way. Like my brother said, you're going into a relationship mm. or even a marriage and there's someone on your neck. Mm. You're dragging this person with yeah. you. You're not whole. Yeah. You're taking someone else with you and essentially you're making this person uh, your responsibility and your wife's responsibility. Yeah. Mm. Marriage is for, you know, two people or three if you include God in it. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Well, it's not even their burden. Like it's not, <laughs> it's, it's not their responsibility yeah. to take care of the yeah. other person. Yeah. 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 That's how it's supposed to be. So okay. if that person is there, and if you feel like you can't let go of that person, mm -hmm. you're not ready to get married. There's something that you need to tackle. Yeah. Yeah. Something deeper Having a lot of times. first before you come back. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you're not ready. Wow. Okay. Let's talk about, we've, we've talked about the negatives, yeah? Right. Okay. Can you mention a positive? So something that would benefit you as a single man yeah mm. okay we're talking single men mm. okay um having a female friend what is wh what what can you gain from having female friends okay okay i hope i hope the question is yeah um i will okay. i will take it for mm -hmm. this one um one thing that i've um, and i'm explaining this based on my own experiences mm -hmm. Um, one thing that I appreciate about having few more friends mm. is perspective, yeah. a different perspective. Yeah. And until you have certain conversations or have another view, mm. all you be seeing a lot of times is only your view. Yeah. Mm. And <laughs> that doesn't give you a multifaceted view. Yeah. Mm. And a lot of times it gives you a restricted and closed mentality mm. on some issues. Mm. But having few more friends in particular, a lot of times you realize that, okay, this is what the thought process is before mm. they receive or um, achieve this conclusion. Mm. And now it opens up your mindset mm. into these things. So wow. one thing that I would say is definitely perception. Pers perspective. Perspective. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, okay. definitely to what Abba was saying. I think um, uh, earlier on we talked about that same thing mm -hmm. when you're married. When you're married, this your wife's perspective is what you need to get, mm. you know, seek for for that, you know, counsel or even wisdom. Mm. But the moment you're single, you can get uh, a female friend's perspective on. It will even help you in terms of what you want to do for. The person that you're dating, mm. and you know, you know how to do something nice for her. Yeah, those little. So you can get some insights. Exactly. From a, another female. To as help. To, how. to help. Exactly. Okay. Let's say uh, you want to be, be, let's say, romantic, and you want a way to show it. Your female friends can help you in mm. that way. Mm. Yeah, how to demonstrate these things. Mm. But the moment you get married, I don't think. Um, it will be necessary yeah, so to entertain yeah, it. Anyway. You have to learn from your wife. Mm. As you leave that her. moment you're in, so yeah. she, she is the, the friend. Yes. She is your own. <laughs> and if you're an observing <laughs> man, you can see how your wife moves, what yeah. she likes. Yeah. And then the things that you want to do for her, the things that you could ask your female friends before. Mm. Now you can see she's in your environment. You yeah. see everything that she's about, what she talks about. Yeah. You use those things to do something nice for her. Yeah. You use those things to, you know, just whatever it is that you want to do. So when you're single, you can benefit from female friendship but the moment you're married that's it yeah okay thank you very much for sharing your views mm. on this particular topic and everyone out there watching us please let us know your thoughts your opinion on the topic can men have female friends and also how how do you manage your female friends in marriage
versus in singlehood let us know thank you for watching stay blessed Welcome to Keeping It Real with Nana. As you get ready to be inspired, informed and entertained, get ready.